All right, so this will be the BGS versus Octane Esports game. Uh, this was asked for me, this was asked from, from a member of BGS for me to do. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to try and go through it as if I was kind of a member of BGS and kind of in your situation, what would I do? And spend a little, instead of just going, this is what BGS should do, this is what Octane can do. I would say more this is what I think BGS should do or how they should react in a situation. Now, starting off with the bans. So Nomad is banned by Octane Gaming. So Nomad on Consulate is used for two reasons. The first is to cut off, cut down, uh, stop runouts. Well, not necessarily stop. That's the wrong word. It's to react to runouts. Where if somebody runs out, they're gonna hit. They're gonna hit a Nomad charge, get blasted, be detected, and just can get gunned down. However, the other way that they can be used is by is by uh, just putting them on doorways, use them regularly for rotates, things like that. Now, if I'm seeing the Nomad. That makes me think that Octane is going to be playing more aggressive because they want the ability to freely roam, freely do runouts, not have to worry so much because Nomad can do a lot and there's a lot of windows that you can jump out from while it, while there aren't going to be too many claymores that are being run. So it's really just, you bring Nomad just to cut down on runouts and it makes it a lot easier in my opinion. And really Nomad, with her being banned, that just... To me, that makes me think that Octane is going to be playing aggressively. So knowing that, if I'm going to, if I know that the defenders are going to be playing aggressively, I'm going to try and get rid of some of their information. And so, as a, I would be banning a Valkyrie, because if I can stop the information being gathered from outside, as because I have no way of real, well, I I can react to it. Yes, I can react to a run out, but it's a lot more dangerous as an attacker. If you have no nomad and there is a and there's a Valkyrie in play who can get cameras outside because you never know if there's just one sitting some in some random tree on the ground somewhere that's just ready for ready and waiting for someone to give information to do a run out and kill one or two of your members so that's kind of what the nomad ban is telling me now capital ban coming out from BGS so that the way I see Capitao is kind of like Echo Mira, where if you don't utilize him, it's better to ban him than to keep him in play. Because if you don't use Capitao on here, you're going to, you really don't want to have that used against you. Because he has a very large amount of utility. So really, it's just... The way I see Capitao is if none of your and if none of the members of BGS use him, they may as well just ban him because he is very strong on consulate. Then, well, I mean, he really is strong on just about every map and just about every site because I mean, you have smokes, you have fire bullets and cough rotations, you have a good gun, you have a claymore for runouts, you have a very large amount of utility with the Capitao pick. Then, <laughs> Echo is being banned, so kind of the if we don't utilize him, ban him type, and it's. I kind of disagree with Echo Bans because it, I'm not necessarily saying that it's bad to ban Echo or there's someone better. It's just I disagree with Insta locking the Echo Ban because although you may not have somebody capable of playing him effectively, a lot of teams don't either. So it's kind of like really it's shown if you watch the Space Station Gaming versus the Sonics game on Border from two three weeks ago they both teams ran echo and neither one of them in the 10 or so rounds that were played really affected the outcome of the match or the outcome of a round they were used to stop the plant sometimes but there was a minute left if i remember correctly the only time it was ever really stopped so it didn't in the end it didn't do shit so really there's i think that I think that if you ban, really, I would say look at the echo ban for BGS, and if you, you may find that there's something on the defense that you hate going up against even more, and it's just it's the way it is. Uh, I'd say just look at that, maybe find someone else, maybe just keep the echo ban, maybe instead of echo use a, have a mirror ban, but really it's. It's just a it's just a preference thing. Maybe there's no one else you want to ban. Maybe you have kind of an old vitality style play 
where you wait until the last 30 seconds or so to push. I don't know, so it's just something that you have to that's just something you have to figure out as a team. Then Kate is being banned by Octane, and this is, in my opinion, a dumb ban because he's not gonna do much. Thatcher is still in play, so all of his all of his Cades can be destroyed. You can't effectively Cade trick with them if a Hibana is ready for it. So and the only the only uh place that you really would use him is going to be downstairs in the basement to either stop the hatches or stop the walls. However, most teams aren't going to attack the hatches. They're going to attack around the hatches, but not the hatches, because you can apply so much pressure into Garage just with the Skeleton Key or a Sledge or a, a Zofia with Breaching Charges that there's almost no reason to really open up the hatches and use the utility for it. So, it really, it's... The idea that you're going to be saving hatches here is, I, I it, you're not going to do it. So I disagree with this Cade ban. I don't understand it. I really don't. I'm not sure what's going through Octane's heads when they banned it. Maybe they have a reason. I don't know though, but it's what it is. I just disagree with that ban. There you go. There you have it. A couple strong played. Needs to be played almost every round. Probably a lot of ice going through to Zofia here for kill. <clears throat> Alright, so with this we move on to your operator selection. So you're running so first you picked Ying. Uh now if you're picking Ying with the intention of sixth picking off of her, I mean it makes a little bit of sense, but I disagree with Ying picks. And the reason why is it's due to the it's due to her not being able to really be a team member when she uses her gadget because the moment the moment that those gadgets are thrown no other attacker can assist in the push because they have to hide so that they don't get flashed and there's still a good chance that they do with how her candelas work and them being just broken at times so it's really with ying it's something that you have to you either have a really good ying player or you just don't go yink because you can't really you can't effectively push as a team and I always think that if you can get two guns on someone instead of one it's it's better because at least then you're gonna come out with a trade then with that the the uh, I, I just think that as well well yeah I think that her team ability isn't really there now yes you can find ways for her to be useful however and she is a very very annoying operator However, I think that there are issues with her when it comes to team play, as well as her gadget is uh, is too inconsistent to really be labeled as good, in my opinion. Because you can throw that thing into a room, and some and half the time you're going to blind everyone within a six mile radius of the room. Half the time it's going to do absolutely nothing, and people are going to have a slightly brighter screen. So, I dis I just think that Ying is just she doesn't really bring enough to the team, as well as she, her gadget is too inconsistent for me to really like her. Now, I do like the Zofia pick, and I kind of wish you started off on that, because it's, I mean, I don't think showing the Ying and then switching to Zofia is really doing much. I think that if you brought the Zofia instantly, and then what, if you see anything that you need to react to, then you switch off of it. But I, so I really, I kind of think that this six pick could be used somewhere else. Uh, the buck makes sense. Uh, when you're attacking the basement, put buck and piano, you can clear out the entirety of garage with his skeleton key alone, as well as the two grenades allow, give him a lot of flexibility. Uh, he is, in my opinion, along with Zofia, two, one of the two uh, best attackers in overall flexibility, just from the amount of utility combined with the amount of fragment power they bring. Um, yeah, so that's really just what I, I think Buck's a good pick. Thermite makes sense if you're attacking Garage. And, yeah, you don't know if you're attacking Garage. I, so really, really the way it is, is if you're attacking Garage, you want a Thermite. If you're not attacking Garage, you want a Hibana. Just because there are areas which you can Hibana out safely, which you can't Thermite out. Like, on the, uh, upstairs in the meeting room, you can, from the piano, I mean, not, from Printer, you can open up the wall 
that of the meeting room that will give you an angle to where people hide behind the table in the objective. So just uh, that's kind of how Hibana can be used. Then the IQ. Uh, so I'm a little. It's a little questionable to pick the IQ pick. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is the although Pulse is in play, he's not really he's not safe when he uses his gadget. You don't have to really be hunting him down with the IQ, because every if he's trying to stop the plant, you know, then he's going to be underneath the bomb site. If he's underneath the bomb site, then you can just open up a window, open up the main door, walk in. You have a good number of options to actually deal with him. You can you can also smoke and then jump up onto a desk and plant, and now he's useless. So it's really, uh, I'd say the IQ, if you're bringing him just for the pulse, I think that you could bring someone else instead. Now, if you're comfortable on IQ, then great, go ahead. There's no issue with it. Uh, maybe you're just really comfortable on IQ and you just like bringing him or bringing her. But really, I would say that never never think that you have to counter operators with operators. Try and counter an operator with a play style. So with Pulse, I mean, if you hold below sight, then you can't, then he can't use his, he can't nitro sell someone from below. So he can't sell the plant. So his gadget is basically useless. Like I say useless, but it's useful. It's useless in that situation. It, he's not. It's not useless overall, just because he can't do the one thing. Then if you see uh, Maestro is being brought, and not Castle is being brought, but you don't know it. But if you knew that the Castle was being brought alongside the Maestro, I would almost say Ash would be a better pick than the IQ because the ability to take out two or three of the cast. I mean, there's three Castles and two Maestro cams. If you can take all of those out, that can really hurt a defense. So just a, just a thought. Then Jackal's being brought. So I like I think that you always need smokes. Well, not always, but I think a good amount of the time you need smokes when you're attacking. And I so I like that. Well, so Jackal is a. Uh, it's I think he's kind of a utility based operator where you pick him for his gun and his utility over his gadget so if I'd say that if you're bringing Jackal just because you like him then sure go nuts if it works uh I don't think that you really need to be bringing his gadget out on this map because there's no I mean <coughs> you can drone the majority of the majority of the of the uh map with without too much trouble i mean it's a relatively big well it's not really a big map it's a very straightforward map where i mean you have three ways to get you have three staircases yes but you can watch them without too much trouble uh the and it, it's not hard to clear out roamers in my opinion or if it is hard to clear out roamers it's not really because you don't have the information on them it's due to their positioning being better than what you would like to go against so the jackal i think could be replaced with someone else i think that bringing smokes is good though and it really just we're just gonna have to wait and see but really i'd say out of everyone it's the jackal that's the biggest questionable pick but it's not like he's a bad operator by any means i mean he has a good gun smokes shotgun to open up rotates hatches holds on the floor and then also gets the ability to track people alongside his two drones so he has a there's a large amount he can do but he doesn't really excel at anything so it's kind of, if you run into an issue, I'd say maybe switch off a jackal to someone else. So with that, so let's start. The six pick on the attacker side, buck, thermite, jackal coming in floor, one of the main two sites as I was talking about just a moment ago. Heroin reinforcing one of the most important walls, if not the most. A little, just a little enforcement, a little yeah. halfer. It's, it's, it's small, but it's a powerful. Yes, very powerful. Castle able to cast all, castle off this spiral staircase. Means no rotation. Okay, so when you're droning this, the first thing you should notice is this wall right here, because that wall cuts off the angle from the bathroom to the doorway over here behind to the back left of pulse and by doing that by cutting off that bathroom angle 
that allows you to walk in without really it lets you almost walk in uncontested because you don't want to have to peek this door as a defender so i would say that as a as an attacker you should recognize that this wall makes the meeting room it makes it a weaker site because of it there's i mean it this was replaced with the kill hole where you have a kill really a kill line going kind of like that so that's just something to be aware of and it's something that if you see it you should make a call out to your team that they're weak over <coughs> their meeting room doesn't have the bathroom angle but usually they open up this hatch as Paul is saying lights like actually there. the lights actually upset me a uh, little bit he missed the hatch <laughs> that's was, embarrassing was he going for the wall or was he letting a, a bailiff do its work but Actually, right. That shield should tell you that somebody is going to be playing inside of the objective room, hiding behind there. Now, if you had Hibana, you could Hibana open the wall. However, you don't, so you can't do that. However, if you had brought enough flashbangs or just drone out and check for any ADSs, you could send the buck over to. You could send the buck over for one to the balcony and just have him chunk in a nade in the corner, free kill. You could have him go below if you knew it was safe, free kill. However, I believe they open up this hatch, so not really the smart thing to do there. They went for the wall. That's a that's a full that's a full impact right into that wall. So. Yes, no, that was definitely on purpose. Ooh, a little bit of evil eye action. So that maestro cam isn't good. You can plant behind the A bomb, no problem. Yep. Let me get those nooks going. So it's gonna be double hatch through here. Down into the basement. Yeah, the kitchen area right there. Pause though, going to be playing actually on site right now. How cool would it be if you show me the attackers? All right, so Thermite's watching the run out here. However, you have a Claymore. So I would just Claymore this. And then if you hear the door open, then check because either the Claymore is going to get him or he's going to look at the Claymore, shoot it, and then he's going to do the run out or run away. But in the amount of time it takes him to shoot the Claymore, you can get guns on him. So, I think that claymoring this would be better than just having hyper hold the angle. That's just my personal preference, though. Uh, really, I'd say that the two claymore positions you want on an admin take are this door and the balcony. With those two, you can effectively attack admin because you have the window on the south side of admin where I like being able to contest that window. So, if a lot of teams will do runouts on the balcony to kill that window player. You like to see him play a little more offsite, find some. And I think IQ actually goes put down a claymore there. But okay. So this ping, that ping is bad because that tells the enemy, hey, we know where you are. So if you want to ping someone, only do it if the enemy. Uh, only do it if the enemy knows they're knows that there's a drone on him if the enemy doesn't know that there's a drone on him then have them uh then just leave it and just say okay he's in the northeast side of admin okay he's in the southwest side of admin okay he's he's right by the double windows of admin just something like that he's in printer really just by pinging him you say we know your position still play it on site as his cardiac sensor will find people regardless but he is a three speed. Most of the time, three speeds are roamers. Mm -hmm. Able to rotate pretty. Okay, so this grenade I don't like because there's a there's an easier way to do it. If you go to the well, there's an easier way to do it, and Buck is exposing himself here. If the hatch was open, you get shot from admin. If there's a roamer around, if there's a roamer in kitchen, he can come up the stairs. A roamer from above can come down the stairs. Someone can come from over from the spiral staircase area. So there's a lot of ways that a roamer could come to to kill this buck. If the plan is, okay, we're going to bait them into coming into Visa, and then we maybe nitro sell them from below. Maybe we throw, maybe we have a roamer ready to go. Something like that. So it's I th disagree with this. Ooh. Then... Oh, oh not oh, quite able to hold it. Okay, so then the buck, I mean, then the cat... So one, it was a bad nade. Bad nades happen. Um... Uh, it's just something you have to practice over and over and over again. But if the thing is that you know it's positioning. And if you're a buck, you may as well just use your skeleton key. I'd say that this guy is not worth using two frag grenades on. 
when you can get kills with frag grenades in other areas which are a lot more uh, a lot more common i mean here if unless you know that he's still in this corner the second frag grenade is not a good one just because you have to uh like i mean if if i get if someone's trying to throw a frag grenade underneath me that means they know my positioning which tells me i should probably move so the fact that this guy didn't move one is dumb but the fact that Buck decides, okay, I just threw a grenade at him. There's no way he's going to move. That's also kind of dumb. At this point, if you really wanted to do it, just just use the skeleton key. And like right here, you use the skeleton key. Could have done that at first, still have two grenades. Now, I disagree with just entering here. Just as there's so many ways you can get shot from. And now, you got the Buck to move, but nobody is actually playing the windows. We got the castle to move, but nobody's playing the, the windows actively. And because of that, the castle could just, he can move around. He can go back to site. He can, he can do whatever. He doesn't get cut off. He has no real pressure on him. So, yeah, I just, if you want to actively fight admin, you have to act, well, I mean, if you want to take admin, you have to actively fight it. You have to have people on the windows. Like this thermite, in all honesty, thermite doesn't have a job to do here. He has some that he can kind of do but not really anything that he needs to do. It's not like he has to open up garage wall. So he really could just be playing these windows because I mean, his, he has no, the gadget's not useful. Well, it's, it's not that it's not useful. It's like, there's no real place for it here. So he could be taking these fights and, oh, you lose a thermite. Well, do you have to thermite anything? No, then why do we care? So he could be actively contesting. You could have the IQ actively contesting with the Zofia. Normally the Zofia is almost the entry fragger of a team alongside the IQ. So, or even the Jackal, if you look at Joystick on Empire. So it's really, uh, I dislike the, I dislike that nobody's playing the admin windows. I like that people are trying to actually, to drone it, contest it, fight it, but you need better oh, positioning for that. Way. Yes, indeed. just a little bit. A little bit on the foot. Castle is going to be pushed out here. Zofia oh. is able to find him. Okay, so for kill frenzy, never open a window. Let's see, I want to see how he opens this. Yes, just a little bit. A little bit on the foot. Castle is going to be pushed. I'm not sure how he opens it. However, oh. never take a fight like this. If you're going to be contesting this, contest from a higher angle. Because this just turns it into a fair fight where it's kind of pixel peak awkward angle fight on pixel peak awkward angle fight. So instead what I would do is let me move this over here. Instead I would have been repelling up a bit higher, open the entirety of the window, or maybe hit the bottom open, hit the top open. And I do top then bottom just so I can kind of throw them off. Because if you hit the bo bottom then top, they're gonna be looking at top. At least in my experience. So with that, you can then hold an angle and you're aiming down. He's aiming here. He, your, your crosshair placement is going to be better than his and you're going to be able to actively fight him. Then I see, I see he's getting pinged a bunch. Well, it's great you're getting pinged, but information doesn't mean shit unless you can actually react to it. So, I mean, you need the ability to react to it and that's just, it's not happening right now. So you need people playing the windows. The, this castle could have been gunned down if from this position from the windows. However, nobody is playing them. Oh, is able to find him a little bit. Doesn't tag him quite yet, but Nerve and Slay getting kills on I Delta and Ransom. And then he gets a kill on you. And I have I Delta, that was the IQ that came in from below. That's kind of why I disagree with it. I don't think you should be trying to go in from below. Spunky one. Spunky one. Not gonna get anything there. He was very close. Nerve actually takes out kill friends. Did kill frenzy try to repel in? Not something you need some Castle is yeah, but nerve edged out. Getting kills on I Delta and Rancer respectively. There are still So my question is how are two people dead when you haven't even entered the building yet? So admin you have an admin and a and a uh, console take. So with that Admin should be the f main focus of everybody on the team. You take admin and then you go and do the rest of your plan. Step one is take admin. If you can't take admin, you're not going to win the map. I mean, you can't, you're not going to win the round. At least in my opinion, that's what's going to happen. 
So you have to contest admin. You have to fight for it. And I mean, there's a castle in there. It's been halfway through the round. Two people are dead and they were nowhere near admin. I mean, I think actually one was on the window, but another one not in, not so. I think kill frenzy just tried to repel in. Uh, that normally doesn't work. If you want to do that, you have to really be hot breaching in my opinion. Just because the sound of someone repelling in is, re it's really distinctful. You're gonna hear it. You can easily react to it. So there. he was very close. Nerve actually takes out kill frenzy as he was, I believe, trying to get. A and now there's no claimer on the door. No one below. So you have to. Uh... Yeah. So now the buck is having to worry about a run out. So this is a quick five versus two. It's gonna be interesting. That's such a sick weapon skin here. <laughs> Showing the support for Rogue. Yep. And now it's me. It looks, it looks like Buck doesn't really know what to do. Still not going to be able to get the finishing touches on a Slay as he's still living with about 80 health. Going to see what he can do. He's going to be playing. This is exactly where his teammate died just a moment ago. And I think so. that I... Never repel above a window. Always repel to either the left or the right of it. Because somebody can just be waiting underneath it, ready for you to repel down, and they're going to gun you down every time. It's a lot safer to just repel on either the right or left side of the window by about 10-15 feet on either side, depending on what you have available, and then go to the window. That way you can actively contest the window. You can actively fight it without being stuck in the animation of repelling down. I did see a little bit of a foot there. Yeah, so he's going to back off. Back onto the roof, he started his repel immediately saw I think the leg of the defender there and was scared away from that situation. Yeah, I believe that's Icy. You see IQ's dead body laying in a quite an uncomfortable position if he were in a live body. Fortunately for Alright, 30 IQ, seconds yeah. left is a 5v2. At this point, I would be just talking with the team, saying okay, we fucked up. We're going to have to change that next round. Uh, where, are we gonna, where are they probably going to defend? Is it going to be do we have an idea? Okay, what worked here? What didn't work here? Do we think that we need to change any of the picks? Do we think, how do we want to attack this? What do we want to do? Because you're probably not going to win a 5v2. So, especially if not even in the building yet. So at that point, I would just say, I would really just say, ha maybe have one person just looking for some random frag, just look going around while the thermite or so just sits on top of the roof and he just, he just sits there. So... It uh, like he just sits there talking to the team. So okay, Buck's dead. Well, we still have forty-five seconds to talk. We can calm down. We can talk about it. We don't ever have to get into our heads about anything. So it's just a little something for you to. It just it helps you kind of cool off, go into the next round with a fresh head. Because I mean, getting five two, five one, five zero, whatever it is, it it sucks. I mean, you you hate to see it. You hate that it happens, but it does happen. Sometimes you just get stomped and you just got to go on to the next round and you just got to adapt to what happened and go just go and try and do better. It, I mean, it happens to every team. Some team, I mean, there are pro league teams that get 7-0, 7-1, 7-2. There are teams that can, that have come down from being 0-4 back into winning at 5-4. There are teams that were down 0-5 and came back and won at 7-5. So it's... Really, there is. You just gotta be able to kind of just slow down, uh, and just yeah, just slow down, cool your head, and just go from there. Not gonna be able to feel that, but Slay bringing down to a one v five is there might. You're not winning this. There's no point in just running in. Save the op. To talk to your team. A lot of work to do, but this is looking like a flawless round so far. Obviously, the castle wall there going to be hindering him a little bit. But there is a lot of defenders on the other side. he's going to time it out. He is definitely going to time it out, so it's going to be not quite the flawless victory, but pretty damn close as he does see one at the very end. So it's going to be a dominating win here for Octane East. So really that just came down to you weren't you were unsure about how to play the you were really just unsure about how to play the admin how to take it and I think it just came down to there was a bit of bad utility usage and not enough aggression coming from your team to actively fight the castle 
I think that if you could, act, I think if you could have cleared out Castle, that could have changed the entire round. However, you, I mean, you didn't. So, really, I will actually boot up Siege to show you kind of what I would do. At least just show you this grenade angle. Because there's really nowhere inside of Consulate you can safely sit. You always have somewhere you can get shot from. Not as console, admin. Inside of admin. Yeah, man. So, admin is something that you really have to just learn how to take. If you can't take it, you're going to struggle on consulate. I can't take it, so I struggle on consulate. I also suck at defending it. Really, all in all, I just suck at consulate. Which is why it's in it's when I'm practicing Terrasant right now. <coughs> now with that... Eliminate all hostiles. So here, first thing I would do is claim more door, claim more balcony. Because that by doing that, that allows you to put someone on that window. And from this window, if you knew that there is only one person in playing inside of, of admin office, then that means you've drawn it. That's been castled. So you can go just little by little. Well, I this shit. Oh. Uh, so you can just go little by little. Like, you can have someone drone it in. This buck could be repelling upside down. You can just be holding an angle, just seeing what's happening. But, okay, is that area clear? Well, one, you can shoot anyone there. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay, so castle it has to be playing around there. So from here, you could nade the castle. But it's a little dangerous because you the castle can, you know, he can stand up, shoot you from here, do whatever. This is kind of when it comes down to you know their positioning, but they don't know you know. So by not pinging, if there, you know there's a castle in there, you can just throw a nade right here. However, if you come over here, repel up here, right about there. So we go look at where that landed. This landed roughly right here, I would say. And I'm not really sure if it did. I think it did. But that would kill anybody playing right around here. And you can change the nade up a little bit so it goes a little bit further, maybe around here. A little closer, it goes around here. You can change it up depending on what information you're getting. But by just throwing that grenade, you can clear anybody out of this corner. You can also throw a grenade here to clear anybody out of this corner. You really can't actively play here because of the window. Can't play it here because of the window. Can't play here because of the window. You can try and play here, but you're going to be exposed a little bit, so can't. Can't play anywhere around here because you're exposed to both these windows. Can't play on top of here. You can get nated from the window. But you see, there's no, there's not really any safe area you can actually play inside of admin office. So. By droning it out, you can probably assume that somebody is going to be... You can probably assume that somebody is going to be playing rough around, roughly around here. You can then get a drone down. Maybe keep it around here. Look for feet. Look for feet. Okay, someone's in the northeast side. Fantastic. Buck, you come here. We need you to throw your nade. And that landed a bit too high, but I mean, I gotta practice it. I'm not perfect. But with that, you can now clear out that corner. Really, this just comes down to almost a gunfight. Just gunfights, in my opinion, where do you have window players? If not, you're gonna struggle. And I'm not a window player, so I definitely struggle on windows. So it's kind of just a... It's just something that you gotta figure out. If it's something that you have to practice and just practice and practice. Maybe you have issues with, maybe there's the issue of nobody's comfortable of fighting the windows. So at that point, go into a custom game, 
Practice finding windows. Maybe you're not comfortable with grenades. Go into a custom game, terrorist hunt, practice grenades. Just, you gotta try and figure out a way to take admin, or you have to say, we cannot do an admin take, we're doing a console take. Wanted really frost. wanted to see the frost. And do a anyway, with down. this, so, you know that you're not attacking upstairs, so there's really no point in bringing this uh, sixth pick from Hibana to something else. It would have been better if you had put if you had brought say a Monty and Sixth picked off of him, or a Glass even, even though he got nerfed. But because that still just gives a little bit of fear. So really, uh, I mean, this Sixth pick is not really it's not really that beneficial for your team, I would say, especially if you're switching to a Zofia. So I would yeah, I just hold work on that. Uh, with that, it, it's a garage. It's a garage defense, so either you should start out by opening garage, at which point bring a Thatcher, or <coughs> start with the roam clear. And at that point, you just bring the Zofia, Buck, Jack, or whatever you want. Now, yeah, so really, you see this Frost, you see it's six picked off of someone's, they're probably not going Frost, at least that's what I would assume. But you see that there's a Mute, a Maestro, a Smoke, and a Jaeger. So with that amount, that amount of utility, you need to have a way of actively fighting it. And so with the Zofia and the Buck, you can really you can take out the Maestro and the Mutes, but you should have but you may be a little bit worried about the actual droning. Because if these mutes are set up to stop drones rather than breach denial, then you can have trouble clearing out the roamers. Quite a bit, I hear. And then with the vigil in play, the IQ might be a good pick, just we're gonna have to see how she's used. Really just about every operator. Just not every operator is good, it just depends on how they're used. You can you can take the I mean if you put some if you put an operator in the place there that they are the strongest, you can do a lot of work. If you put them in the place they're the weakest, they can be a terrible pick. So it just really depends on what you uh what you're good at and what you like to do, and that should determine kind of the operator. Because if you have if you're forced to play a blackbeard but you normally are the one who wants to be sprinting in, being the entry fragger. Blackbeard's not the operator you should go. He takes a bit of a... ATS deployed and ready to go. Jaeger, active defense going down here. In the garage area. In the garage. Garage. Here in their garage. Yeah. No Lamborghini. No Lambos, but that's okay. There is it's a white be a man. solid defense, exactly. And whatever that is, like a Camry or something. Hatchback. I was gonna say it looks more like an ice cream truck, but yes, the car you're talking about. Yes, that would be it. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> reinforcing we go on the garage door as well. Let's see what they can do with the basement defense here. Honestly, it's a bit, a bit confining down here, you know? Yep. Claustrophobic can kind of get to at times, but yeah, it's gonna be of course the hatch is right above A site fortified. So I'm in the attackers, I don't care about the thermite to get through. I really don't care about the Romans right now, I care about how the attack's coming around. They have to go through in order to access the site. Yeah, Nerve actually playing from that second floor, so even if someone does try and get that thermite charge, hopefully that Okay, so one thing I'm gonna say about this defense, if you're watching the VODs of Octane, they are taking a while to set up. I mean you're thirty seconds into the round, so Theoretically, if you try and do a fast push, it could work out. If you if you just bum rush the uh, garage with a Thatcher, Thermite, Capital, Gridlock, have someone hold yellow stairs, there's a good chance you could get a plant down. Because they're not ready for it. Can have access and have at it. Mm -hmm. So you can try and get a kill or just kind of pop that charge out. So the jammer going down right as Hyper trying to get that drone in there. Is gonna be able to okay, you know where they are. Oh yeah, here's the. Oh yeah, so <coughs> here's the issue. There's a vigil and a Jaeger in play. That makes me think that there's gonna be a roam game of some sort, and it's consulate, so there's probably gonna be a roam game. Knowing that, you have to you have to be able to fight it. So your first thoughts shouldn't be okay. I need to open up the wall. Well, you're thermite, so you can't open up the wall by yourself. You have no Thatcher, so you have to help on the roam clear. Right now, Thermite was just droning Garage. Fantastic. You know that the enemy is inside of Garage, where the site is, where there's probably some of the enemy. But do you know where the Vigil is? Do you know where the Jaeger is? Do you know 
do you know where the roamers are do you know if admins clear is console clear is the main lobby clear what's clear what's not how are they roaming are they roaming together are they roaming separately are they ignoring one area but not ignoring another you gotta figure these things out Lose his drone there, I, I don't know how he did and to figure them out, you need to drone. So. But that is okay. <laughs> so B side gonna be open up promptly. Nope. Nope. Just kidding. All right. With the mute in play, there's you have no point doing this. Get your drones. Go help. Go help your team. Go help your team. Bamboozle not gonna be able to do much there. That is okay. I Delta is pushing from third floor. There is someone laying in the way. That's icy there. All right, Delta. I'm. No, you do not. Okay. This is bad. Nobody is droning you. You in. The way that I see a take when you're when you're trying to roam clear consulate is you put two you put two of your members on console, you put two of your members on admin. You figure out where they're holding from because most of the time they're not holding both areas. If they're holding from admin, you go in from console. If they're holding from console, you go into admin. And you can have one of the if you can have one of the people who aren't pushing droning and whoever's outside droning. So you have two people entering, two people droning, one person ready to, one person's ready to help, kind of just holding angles, looking for picks. But this is just, this is just face checking. Now, you get the kill. However, that's really lucky because if, I mean, if I'm a roamer and I'm trying to bait you into the, coming into those windows, I can sit right here and you can... Say, okay, admin's clear, fantastic. Is this clear? I don't know. Is this clear? I don't know, but I don't care, so I'm going in. Oh, what's that? Someone's repelling in. Dang, if only I could swing and shoot them. Oh, look at this, an open doorway that looks directly at the windows. Oh. The first one for his team in this entire match here into round two. Yeah, okay, you're not droning. That's okay. It always starts with I hate it. They didn't get a single kill last time. Really? Really. Almost flawless. They timed out. Oh, oh right. like last round, sorry. Last right. round, yeah. Yeah, last round. Timed out. That time it's just team. Him. Oh, there a bit go. of a turn. Ooh. I see not looking the correct way. Delta going to be picking up the first one for his team in this entire match here into round two. Delta going to be picking up the first one for his team. Yes, yeah, so I think Zofia's on the connector window. Buck is on the con is on the console windows. Uh, I'm hoping that there's a claim on the yellow door, because if not, that is a mistake. You need it there for runouts. In this entire match here into round two. But that's Entire okay. Match. It always starts with one. Yeah, they didn't get a single kill last time. Really? Really? Almost flawless. They timed out. Oh, oh right. like last round, sorry. Last right. round, yeah. Yeah. Thermite, get off your drone. We know they're in garage. They've been in garage. We don't care they're in garage. What we care is who can actively kill us as we're entering. Timed out. That's fine. Yep. So Jackal not gonna find much. If you want to hold the stairs, go act go on the stairs. Hold an angle down it. Because holding this doorway, well. I can peek you high, I can peek you low, I can just run across, I can I can do whatever. If you want to hold the doorway, go and aim down like that. Or open up some kill holes right here. Look down. You can look down at the uh you can look down at the what is it? The Visa stairs that goes to the basement where the defenders are probably gonna go up as well as you will be able to hear if anybody goes there. So you can fight like that, and then you can just swing around or make the call out to the Zofia, yo, hold the visa. You guys need a flank watch? That I am. Have you cleared out the first floor? Because if not, why are you pushing the second floor? Next, if you want to if you want to apply pressure on the yellow stairs, you must open this up. If this is not opened, I do not fear it. I well I fear a little, but I don't really fear anybody coming down yellow stairs because I can hold behind the black van and I can hold an angle with my crosshairs right here. So your head's going to appear right here because I know that nothing's going to appear here. I have to take two angles when I'm holding black van. I mean black sedan. It's either the door angle or the stairs angle. Well, if I know no door exists, stairs it is. 
Elton needs to play a bit more calm. Buck, you don't have to be upstairs doing this. It just makes it, it just takes more of your utility and you don't get to apply as much pressure as fast. Go down, do the same thing. You can then react to everything. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm going to look at this. Well, because no flank watch was coming down, a defender has decided to walk up the Visa stairs, crouch walking, and is coming to kill the buck. That is why you need flank watch of some type. Maybe it's a claymore, and yes, it's going to get shot, but at least it, you're going to get a warning. Maybe you just maybe you need to put a, a body there. If you if you watch a good amount of consulate. You'll see that a lot of teams would put somebody playing the uh, above the Visa stairs, which can look down into the bottom of Visa stairs coming from basement. No, Hyper, do not plant this fucking diffuser. Okay, your team must be ready to react to the plant. If they are not in position to help the plant, then you should not be planting. Because at that point, it's just... I mean, really, your team's going to scramble to help you. And then they're going to be caught out of positioning. And you're going, and that's just going to be, it's just going to, it's not going to end well. If you want to get this plant down, make sure that you have a roam clear. Make sure you have your flank watches established. Make sure that they can't pressure you and then go from there. You have 43 seconds left. You have time. All right. And so now... I'm hoping that, wait, is that wall even open? I hope it is, but this is bad vertical pressure. So this guy should never be allowed to walk anywhere close to here. It's one of the reasons why when you're pushing, you put someone outside of the garage. Then this guy is planting with no help from his team, and that's more his fault than the team's fault. You have to know when you can go for a plant and when you can't. The jackal then gets gunned down, because no flank watch was established, and Jackal with his smokes has decided that he doesn't want to use the smokes for a plant. And I'm just saying, you smoke, smoke here, smoke here, hold angle, get ready to switch over here if needed for the refrag, you can do it. But with that, this guy, this just tells me you're not applying vertical pressure enough, which is due to the buck not just going and applying pressure. That's really all it is. <coughs> then nobody's holding the proper angles. So let me see actually where this mute came from. Oh yeah, I have no idea where this mute came from. I'm really, really hoping that he didn't come from here because you can shoot that doorway from above. And I'm also really hoping that he didn't come, from, well, you know, I'm hoping I really I hate that this can happen. There's no there's no reason that he should be able to come from either of these positions because somebody outside cancels out that one, someone above cancels out this one, no rotate hole, don't have to worry about it. This should be an easy plant. This is in very easy containment. I, okay, there should be no reason that somebody should be able to sit behind the black the black sedan. Wait, is the wall open? Hold up. I actually can't tell if the wall is open. I, yes, it is. Okay. No droning. No droning. No droning. No vertical pressure, you can kill this guy very easily with vertical pressure. Okay, so please tell me that you didn't. Okay, 
Okay, so you shoot your concussions, find out someone's there, and then says, and then ask yourself, do I want to fight this guy? Nah. And you just flat out ignore him. A concussion mine doesn't mean you're going to die. It means that they hit you with a concussion mine. I can still shoot you if you hit me with a concussion mine. Then you decide, let's plant. Wait, where is... There we go. So you say, let's plant by moving over slightly to the right behind White Van. Now, the reason why you don't plant behind White Van is there's usually a hole here. And if there's usually a hole there, they can shoot you from that. So, they can shoot you from here, and they can get information from here, and there's two people who are dead, so there's probably someone on this saying, yo, planting, planting behind White Van. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to peek and get the easiest kill of my life. Oh, kill Frenzy, you are not a... Kill Frenzy, he needs to change his positioning. Like, this is winnable from both sides. There we go. Bad plant spot from Kill Frenzy is what fucked over this. Well, a couple of things. It's not just Kill Frenzy, it's a few. It's a few. With that, starting over. The entire team does not do a full roam clear and allows the jack to get killed by, from behind. So, no one's on flank watch, nobody wants to do it, everyone should just frag, frag, frag. Bad on that. Then, <coughs> Jackal, you... Whenever I'm droning, I get myself in a safe position, and I move somewhat near where I'm droning. Because if I want to... If I want... I need to be able to both react to information and defend myself. So if I'm not able to help my team with the droning or help myself with the droning, then I'm not going to drone in my position. And I also want to be able to stay relatively safe in my position. So if I'm trying to say, say if I'm trying, what is it? If I'm trying to drone an area, I'm going to be pretty close to that area. So if I'm, for example, if I'm trying to drone the garage i may be outside here i might be outside here i might be outside yellow stairs i might be above somewhere i'm somewhere where if i get information that somebody's here or here or here or here i can react to it so kind of bad for the jackal to just be kind of sitting on his drone away from the team that also didn't allow for a refrag really i think someone did actually get the refrag but it was also it was more the roamer kind of walked into the sites rather than it was a it was actually like, okay, my buddy just got killed, but I have the angle on him now. He's dead, so we're good. But really, all that just came down to was Jack was kind of off by himself. A roamer found him. He died. And that roamer was able to find him because there was no proper roam clear that came out and nobody was holding the flank. So then, with that, Thermite decides to plant. But when he decides to spend the first minute or two trying to open the garage... Well, it's muted. You have to wait for your team, so you may as well help your team do their job. They do their job faster. Now you can do your job, and now both sides are doing something faster. So with that, you can open the... With that, that would help your team more. Then, with that, you would... Uh, let's see. So you can help your team more. You can open up the garage faster. You can do the room clear faster. Then with that, you aren't go you. You don't solo entry into garage trying to plant. I mean, it's it's a dumb thing to do if you're not set up for it because you can have somebody walk down and kill you. I mean, that's it. There was nobody covering and Thermite died because of that. It wasn't someone's fault. It wasn't anyone's fault that they weren't covering. It was the fact that Thermite said, I'm going to plant when nobody was in position to help him. He was kind of doing his own thing and that was a mistake. Then with that, I'm not sure how Buck died. I think he just lost a gunfight, but why a push is coming down from the back? Okay, well, here's the question. So, somebody just died from the back. I think that was actually the buck. So, somebody's trying to... Somebody just died from the back when the plant's going down at the front. So, why be in the back in the first place? This isn't, a, this isn't really one of those late flank maps, I would say. This is more one of those... You do it methodically, 
you hold your hold the proper angles and you go for plant because once you once you clear out garage you can plant no problem um you you don't have to worry about going in for a late flank because of a mirror window or because there's a pulse in play you have to you you really just have to hold the right angles if you had if this diffuser was being planted right here that's actually here that if the diffuser was going down in default again because the Zofia didn't stun someone here and then just run off. So if the diffuser was going down here. I Delta came and helped this angle. Somebody was outside or maybe playing yellow stairs, maybe holding this angle, or maybe outside holding an angle like this. You have to be worried about yellow stairs because of that, but maybe a flank drone. But any of that. And now a Delta wins the fight. I mean, you lost two people planting when you shouldn't have been planting. One bad timing, one bad positioning, no proper roam clear. Uh, you no know, proper flank hold, and then not enough pressure coming from above with people not holding the correct angles. That's what that round came down to. Now, right, so with that, you, let's see. Okay. Sixth, okay, one thermite should not be in play right now. He's not going to do much to actually help your team. A Hibana would be much better. She brings roughly the same utility, can open up walls from a distance, which you need, and then has a, I think is a better fragger overall. So you can bring more fragging potential and do the same job. So why not? Then with that, okay, so we have Ying, Blackbeard, IQ, Jackal, and Thermite. So I have to see what happens here. Because either this Ying and Blackbeard are going to absolutely shred everything, or it's going to do absolutely nothing. And it's like we're just going to have to wait and see what the what they're used, how they're used. Valkyrie, you have stuff you need to reinforce, go reinforce it. You should be attacking this site the same way that you attack the other one, where you're attacking basement, where you take up top, push your way down. Legitimately, that's how you should be attacking just about every single map. Take up top, push down. Why are there three people inside a bathroom? All right, so 30 seconds in, reinforcements are still coming out, so I would, uh, I would note that. Drone this lesion, he is a free kill. I mean, I can see the window from here. And, I mean, you... I mean, if you come over... Take Buck, come over to, not even a Buck, you just come over to this window. Almost that, that little foot, okay, shoot through the wall, he's dead. Oh okay, yeah, bad droning. Okay, so you're droning, you see the guy, you have the information. All right, you have, you have a few options. Option number one. You go to the left. You look left and you jump to get the fuck out of there so that you do not get shot. Option number two. 
you go to the right because you see that you have cover from this desk here. So you have the possibility of getting your drone out of there while still giving information. Option number three, you go forwards into the enemy and you hope to God that they potato everything and it, yeah, you just hope to God they miss every single shot and you put it all on them. And you have absolutely no way of really saving your drone. So no drone is in this situation. Option four, you go backwards. Just as bad as option three. Option five, you do nothing. So which of these options should you do? Option one or two, which have possible good. They have good outcomes where you can save the drone and continue to gather information. Or option three, four, and five, where you lose 10% of your overall drone economy. Let's see. So it's, it hasn't been up. Uh, you may not have realized it, but the patch where the drones are suicide bombers, that hasn't come out yet, so you can't just throw them at people yet. They also don't have knives attached to them, so you can't just jump in their faces. Okay, so let's go back and watch this. Wait. Hey, so... Wait, so Kill Frenzy, you're... Okay. Right. So Kill Frenzy's drowning. Jaeger, main desk. Went yellow stairs. All right, Jack was holding an angle. Don't know why. <coughs> Bill Frenzy's holding an angle. I Delta is droning. Now, how did you get that kill? Not sure exactly what the Ying did there. Uh, I mean, you threw something, and I'm not sure if maybe this is this blinded the Valkyrie. I have no idea if that's what its point was. If you're just throwing it for the sake of throwing it, like, oh, there might be someone here. I think that was a mistake. Um, I mean, if you have drones, figure out where you can drone. Then Jackal and Blackbeard need to switch positionings, so... Blackbeard is on the window and Jackal is in the building. And why might you ask? Because it's a Blackbeard. I Delta kills Legion. No idea where. Double kill comes out. So oh, let's take a look. At so both Ransurf and Ying are holding angles on the yellow stairs, so you have no idea if the yellow stairs is safe. At this point, the Ying should just be saying, okay, I've got yellow stairs, y'all do y'all figure out the room clear. Figure out the rest of it. Then Jaeger gets a kill. <coughs> and I Delta just jumps in and gets shredded because of it. You don't always have to react with aggression to aggression. If you go little by little and you put two bodies on him, because you have this thermite right here. If you have the thermite and the IQ both peak at the same time, you're getting this Yeager kill and you're going to have main advantage. And then gets out. So he's getting jackal tracked. He just killed your guy. So you have the option of either aggressively taking a fight where, I mean, you really have 
I mean, there's not many angles you can contest them from, so... Yeah, I think this is just over-aggression from I-Delta. I think he needs to play a bit more passive in this situation. You don't always need to go for fights. There should not be a drone in the middle of the garage. Either put that thing at the door of yellow stairs to watch the door of yellow stairs, so that if the flank comes from there, you can see it. However, I mean, it, it's a drone. The Jaeger now knows he's droned, and he takes out your he takes it out. So, so. This is either the Ying didn't realize that the Jackal was on yellow stairs. You know, I'm going to assume that the Ying thought that the uh, Jackal track was in that hallway because he's there for some reason. And that the, and that maybe he's just holding there for some reason. So you peek that and then he goes, runs across. But now the thing I really don't like is you have three breaching charges and two candelas left. So you have really no reason to be coming down here. Use those breaching charges, clear out sight, and then get ready. And as they're going to be bunched up, or like, basically, get your get your the rest of the attackers to get into positions to deal with uh, anybody rotating around. Then have the Ying apply vertical pressure with the breaching charges, since most of this room you can destroy from above. So with that, you can then force them to move around, and with that, you can probably catch one or two of them off. At which point you can get man advantage. Then you get the candelas and you can use those to clear out bathroom. However, the next thing is that kill friends ying is really just not a I mean, you're not looking at the Yeah, now you look over to the to the uh left, you look over here, however, you originally looked there, and if anybody was playing over here, you're dead. And now I'm hoping that that front door was shot out. I still can't tell. Drone on yellow stairs. Probably hope. I mean, it's a drone on yellow stairs. It really doesn't shouldn't be there. I'm hoping that. Ah, I'm really hoping that whoever whoever's drone that was is dead, because you if not you should be moving that drone, droning stuff out. This A is destructible. He's holding an A. Go from above. Okay. I don't think that one of those Maestro Camp. I don't think the Maestro Camp can. Oh, actually, was he at full HP? That is the question. Yeah, you know, I'm not actually sure if the Maestro Camp can kill someone in one. No, no, it's the time that it's. Okay, I'm thinking about the ranked. This was something I was doing with someone. And. The, uh, it was had to do with the 4 second plant time in ranked versus the 7 seconds here where Maestro Cam can't actually kill you before the plant goes down. However, that's for the 4 seconds. 7 second, yeah, sure. Now, I hate that the Ying had to run in here in order to do that. You, uh... I mean, I, I just hate the Ying had to do that. I think that it would be better if you had the... Uh, I really it's I think the main issue I have is the utility is the lineup the utility of it because you have no real way of uh, you have no way of taking out these maestro cams unless it's zapping you so it's really just something that you should something you should be aware of in your next lineup uh, legitimately I would drop the thermite for a Zofia, Ash, whatever, just someone with explosives to take those things out, just because you don't need a thermite when attacking this site. 
next. Anyway, kind of a, kind of heads up from Ying to recognize that that was happening. However, you have t you have two Yings, you have two Candelas, so you have to expose yourself running through the main doorway to go shoot this thing. When, and by main doorway, I actually mean this. Why not, as you're running, chunk a candela here, and then from there, you can then move. Because the plant's going down, so why you already aren't in a position you can actively react to this doorway, I don't know. Uh, you have to be in a position that you can react to both this and from this. I mean, really, there's a lot of places this thermite can get shot. You can get shot from the stairs there. You can get shot from the hatch above. So I, I think you have vertical pressure with the jackal there. And you can also get shot from over there or just a nitro cell C4 or somewhere. But this is an active angle you have to fight. So as the, ying, as the plant's coming down, Ying should be using her utility, throwing it right here as she's pushing up a little bit to assist the thermite and ready to pick up this bomb if need be. But... Really, I mean, I don't, I don't see why the Ying's saving her utility. Uh, then you have a, you have Jackal on smoke. So, if you, uh, if you, uh, were a Jackal, I'm pretty sure this hatch is open. Why not have Ying push in? Jackal throws his smoke, so it hits the doorway, smokes that, and now that the doorway is smoked, well, doorway smoked. Ying's holding an active angle. Jackal is somewhere above helping as well. And then perhaps even Jackal is holding this angle, ready for someone to run in there. But really, it's just Jackal has smokes, Ying has candelas, neither are being used, plants going down. That's what I really disagree with. Then, with that, Kill Frenzy. Alright, so Kill Frenzy, let's... You get the kill here, but... Back is exposed, plants coming down. Why there is a smoke, a Jaeger, and a Maestro, and nobody's contesting, I don't know. But with that, you need to be more aware of the doorway from bathroom where the enemy is most likely going to come from. That is your primary threat. And this entire time, you come in here, ignore, 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 shoot, run away, ignore. See? Ignore, ignore runs away doorway is closed that is a huge mistake that tells me as a defender you are not applying any pressure from the outside and I can rotate all around the bee as much as I want if I know this I will literally sit down here or in the closet and I can stay there relatively relatively safe so you always got to shoot that thing open. It applies pressure and it makes it so the defenders don't want to swing out. Camera is also there. So you, why exactly all this utility can stay up, I don't get. I mean, door is still there, camera is still there. That's basic stuff that you got to get rid of. Two smokes, two Inox models. Neither of these are really being used. At this point, I would say drop Jack or go someone else. Because if you're not using the utility, there's no point in bringing him. Bring someone who has more utility. Bring someone who can help your team more. And yeah. In this situation, what you should be doing is you should get those smokes and you should throw them into that bathroom door. Or at least that hallway. Because if the enemy has to push through smokes they are going to be at a massive disadvantage to someone holding an angle. And what's this? Three breaching charges, two candelas. I mean, bad utility usage. Just saying. Do, do not tell me that you just... Okay, that is a default camera. That thing should not be up. That should be one of the instants that you get. A default camera. Default cameras, if they are, whenever they are outside, 
you get rid of them within the first 10 seconds you they're gone they are out of here you they're the they're one of the biggest wastes of this game because you can get rid of them all with, all within 10 seconds on just about every single map and now there's three useless cameras on the defenders this is just given information Should have been smoke in this doorway. They can't see you. You hold angle. You win. I can't draw straight lines for shit. Then, onto Ying. So, kind of, kind of a client-sided thing. Kind of just bad timing. But at this point, well, at this point, why not establish some top-down control? Because if there's one person and you knew where he was, then why not just go above and hold from hatch? a lot safer you have the utility to use it and whenever you're using utility you have to make sure you're in a good position to use it there's a what was it i'm trying to remember what game but there was a there's a Sophia on border that just stood outside of the main door on the outside of the ventilation and was just waiting there with her gadget and she was really really fucking lucky that no one peeked because if someone did she's is shooting fish in a barrel I mean, you have no way of contesting. When you throw this Ying, you have no way of fighting back. Anyway, good kill from Ransurf. Not the prettiest, but it'll do. Okay, so onto the picks. You know you're going upstairs, so the Blackbeard can make some sense. Uh, the Yang didn't really do much, so switch to Zofia. I like that. Uh, the I Delta is still on IQ. Ren, I can't remember. I can't remember your name. You know you're the one that contacted me. You're still on Jackal, and we still have a Thermite, even though Thermite is fucking useless up here. I mean, it. it he is. He's useless up here. You need someone else. Go Hibana. Go Hibana. Or go someone with a with more fragging power. Go Monty. Go someone with grenades. Go a sledge. Go a buck. Go someone. I don't understand those reinforcements. You are standing up in front of two windows and somebody can jump outside of this bathroom window and kill you. Don't don't rip, don't just sit there. Go somewhere else. You may want a drone, but if somebody just hits a window, you're dead. All right, so this is kind of a this is kind of a ranked thing to do. You drone someone out, and then you say, "I'm gonna go get this kill." You should be making this call to the Blackbeard. Yo, there is somebody hiding behind the B-bomb. 
he's a it's a lesion but hiding behind the b-bomb blackbeard should be able to figure that out and he should be able to figure out an angle that can kill him chunk some flashbangs in do something you're good what the Zofia should be doing is instead of worrying about the right side of this wall it should be worrying about the left because this left wall over here if you open it up there is no rotations that the defenders can do to get back to the b bomb site safely Okay, if you're playing a okay, let me just let me just draw this out. All right, so a black a blackbeard is trying to fight you. You have two windows of equal sizes. Oh my god, I am so bad at drawing this. Okay, you have two windows of equal sizes, all bare, all boarded up. Then, suddenly, a hole appears in one of them at the bottom. And you figure out where this blackbeard is going to peek from. Because I can. If you want to play these windows, open up multiple holes so they're never sure about where to actually have where they actually have to fight you from. Because if they're aiming here and you're here, that's then they have to adapt to that. They have to change their aim. And if you have better crosshair placement, you will win that fight 9 out of 10 times. Yo, there's somebody in the cubby area. Can anybody go to the... What is it? Can anybody go to the skylight above yellow stairs and shoot through the wall? That's it. That's all you gotta do. Do that, you'll kill this guy. Because... Actually, no, I think he gets out of there. But still, that was... How is Kill Frenzy in? I'm hoping that you have a claymore on the balcony, because if not, you have to be ready for a run out from there. Smoke's coming down, plan is not. Blackbeard should not be the one droning. So Ransurf kills Turtle, and then Hypor... Who is Hypor? Wait, Hypor is the Thermite. Killed by Nerve, the... Wait, who the hell did Ransurf kill then? Okay, so... This is a fuck-up from the Blackbeard and the Jackal. Both of you could have killed this Jaeger. However, due to a misuse of the utility, that is what got the Thermite killed. If you want to actively fight this, what you need to do is you have to smoke this area and the connector. By smoking those two areas, you're good. Next, the Thermite should be planting a little bit further back. Because I think if I'm sure about it, you're in a little bit more cover from this angle. But really, that's just a misuse of smokes and nobody's holding the connector angle. Jaeger dies to the roamer below. Do not. Okay. Oh, God. No. Blackbeard. No. No. All right. Blackbeard, you are the window player. You must play the window. That is what you excel at. That is what you are the strongest at. Which means that you should not be repelling in unless necessary. There is a minute 19 left. Not the play.
All right, so this round came down to overaggression on both on basically three of the members. First, Zofia, you do not use your you use your utility to help your team win. You do not use it to get your team kills. What you should have done is opened up the left wall and then from there you found an angle onto the connector. You can shoot it open because it's soft. And here, let me actually pull up the map for this. All right, so with this, we move on to consulate. All right, so you are attacking the upstairs. And second floor, I'm dealing mainly with this area over here since that's where you're attacking from. So with that, Zofia is here on the bathroom window. She opens up this because that was soft. And from there, you had used your first Zofia on this castle, that's fine. But this I'm pretty sure was soft. At which point you shoot through here. You now are holding an active angle onto the connector window. Blackbeard is on, I uh, really either of the windows doesn't matter, holding an angle onto the console. Then you have to make sure that you have yellow stairs control. If you do not have yellow stairs control, then you are fucked. So at that point, I would be sending the thermite to take control of yellow stairs, where his entire thing is to just make sure nobody can come up these stairs. So thermite's here, Zofia is here, Blackbeard is here. Jackal, actually, wait, Thermite is a diffuser, so you can't do that. Uh, wait, where is he? No. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Because the Sophia and this Blackbeard angles need to exist, it's this. Okay. IQ is below, so we know that IQ is below, and Thermite's planting about here. IQ is just going to be over here. So it has to be Jackal on here, just by... And yes, your smokes are not going to be the most utilized. However, that will at least allow you to... It allows you to help your team, and even though the smokes aren't in the best position, they still, you're still at least going to be useful in your operator positioning. Because if somebody just walks up these stairs, they can gun this guy down. That's why for a console push, a lot of teams just take yellow stairs first. They bring capitals with their firebolts just to take yellow stairs. They bring, a, they bring multiple sets of grenades just to take yellow stairs. So with that, you need someone on yellow stairs. And that's going to be Jackal's job. So Zofia's holding this angle. Nobody can go into waiting room. Blackbeard's holding this angle. However, you, can also, you also need to be ready to switch over to this angle. Jackal can be holding an A. Yeah, Jackal is just waiting for, for reactions. Possibly can hold an angle like that. Possibly contesting someone down there. And then IQ is doing whatever below, trying to hunt down that pulse. But really, it just came down to the Zofia got over aggressive and entered. Blackbeard tried to get the plant down in a minute as his thermite got gunned. Jackal was playing too passively, IQ lost a gunfight, and Thermite, I mean, I think he just had a bit bad of positioning. But really, I bring that down mainly to the Zofia, because by the Zofia and the Jackal are the two big ones, and a bit of a, and a misplay from the Blackbeard, but a misplay that happened due to the misplays of, of all others. So, Kill Frenzy gone. Okay, okay, here's the thing. When did you kill this pulse? I need to know this. What is that smoke? Hold on. If you want to be fighting this window, go upside down, hold an angle. I have no idea what that smoke is, by the way. That's a... Okay, no, that's a... Uh, no, those are bad smokes. 
I understand the want to use them, however, using them incorrectly is to a degree just as bad as using as just not using them. Because it's like a mirror window. A bad mirror window can fuck up the entire defense. A good mirror window can win the defense. So it's like that with smokes. If you really wanted to spend a little bit more time, make sure that the smoke is in this doorway. Hold angle. Smoke is about to run out. Throw another one. Hold angle. Tell Blackbeard, I have connector. I have connector control. And you, you fight for that connector control. All right, so Kill Frenzy gets the pulse. All right, so when Kill Frenzy gets that pulse, your team shouldn't worry too much about below anymore. Yes, you have the lesion down here. However, I don't think he plays vertically. So, actually, no, you do have to worry about it. So I'd say yes, worry about it. But really, I'd say just the, the Zofia should not have entered. Now, both smokes were used. However, Thermite's not even in a position to enter. Thermite, you're going, Thermite's going for the plants, so I'm just saying Blackbeard get off the drone. Also, that drone's not going to tell you shit when it comes to somebody running up the stairs and trying to gun you from right here. Minute left, 1v3. So this is one of those 50-50 situations. You can either go for the clutch and possibly get it, or you can go and try and communicate with your teams. What I would say is you should be going in with the intention of losing, so you make sure that your team is talking. Where did we fuck up? What happened here? Without Legion Mind going out, they know you're positioning, you gotta find another way in. Oh, you're repelling into these windows is not the answer. If you want to do something, just jump into the balcony windows uh, or go over all the way to admin and go in through there. These windows are always going to be covered. You can rely on that. So, why you don't go directly underneath a window? It says, This is my exact positioning. Come get me. Now I'm going to go to the restroom, and I will talk about this next round when I get back. All right, so I'm back. Now, Operator Selection. You drop the Blackbeard. I like that. It wasn't really doing much. Uh, and I can't hate about the Operator Selection. I really can't. It's more the execution is the issue, not really the Operators. Then you know you're attacking Basement, probably. I mean, most people hate Split. I hate Split. I think it's, I think it's terrible, but... Now, what are you going to do this round? 
knowing that last round you got killed mainly because you had a flanker coming and whoop your asses. Also because you had two people playing in dumb positions. Only the attackers. I don't... Yes, fascinating. It's a wall. I haven't been doing this for like four years. I've never seen this. Ooh. Ooh, they open in holes now. Yeah. Your claim on the yellow door. I mean, they're, the objective is 10 feet away from the yellow door. So go, go get your claimer down it. Don't, don't hit open windows. Shoot them open. By hitting it open, you have to get close enough that the enemy can get an angle on you. It's a lot easier and a lot safer. Just shoot it open. You have 240 bullets. You're not going to miss 30 of them. <clears throat> There's a Mira, a Maestro, and a Smoke. You're not going to get this plant down if they do, it, if they do this properly. You should be going for the roam clear and not for a direct push. That's a camera. All right, Maestro gets killed. Show me my show me the buck. He just got a kill. Show me what's happening. God. Okay. So you get the kill. Now that's a lot of the information gone. So with now the one thing I noticed is that the jackal was just running over as if he didn't know what was going on. He wasn't sure that this was the push coming out, so I mean team port team coordination there. Right, you know someone's find white. No, 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 no. This angle exists. You can't just sprint in there hoping, oh god, I hope that nobody's holding this angle. I hope nobody's in kitchen ready to just swing around and gum me down. Nobody is holding yellow stairs. So I might open up the other half of the wall. Basically, you, I say you always want this entire wall open because diffusing is a bitch, and if a long arm comes out, you can't see it, you'll lose the round. Now, you get the plant down. That's not a good thing. That's just a mistake coming out from Octane. And yeah, so it's just a mistake. Really, they just fucked up on their utility usage and in their information. So they should have known the moment that you're planting. They have a maestro cam. They should have had two on this. Uh, they should have had two of them on this garage door, because I mean the garage wall, because that's where the majority of plants come from 90% of the time. So, I mean, if 90% of the time push comes from here, well, I'm not going to put a cam in the back just because. I'm going to say someone go lesion or just give me some barbed wire in the back. If you take damage when you're at when you're at such low HP, you you stop and you you get out. Now I'm not sure if you have your controls on advanced. If not, put them on advanced. If not, you're gonna be stuck in an animation and you're gonna die like this. Nobody is holding the yellow stairs angle, so that's a mistake. Actually, somebody was hold, somebody was holding by yellow stairs, but not the proper angle gets killed because of it. So now it is a two versus four. This is the angle right here. You repel up here and you hold an angle on the stairs once you shoot it open. Very hard to contest. So if you did that, instead of having whoever was holding the angle hold the angle, you probably would have uh, 
probably could have won this round a lot easier. It'd be at least a 3v3 instead of a 2v3. I'm also hoping that you guys have a drone on this diffuser, because if not, that's a mistake. There were five of you. There should be a drone somewhere in here that has an angle telling you if the diffuse is coming out. So if you have the information, you have no reason to peek. If you peek, you can lose the gunfight. So better just not to peek at all. At least that's like unless you have a reason to peek, don't peek. I mean, that's that's the way I see it. Then, because thermite messed up, actually no, I'm not sure if this angle exists. So ignore ignore that. Uh, okay, hold an angle. Hold an angle on the on this wall. Hold it and just move around like that. They can come out at any time trying to kill you. Like, I understand you have the angle grip on, but there's no reason to un-ADS. You have, you have walls on him. You don't have to take this fight. You don't have to take this fight. If the mirror swung right here, you would die. Ransurf, get the fuck back to cover. You're in the, you both are in the middle of the open, and anybody right here can gun you down both, and you're going to be in a very bad position. Why did you pull out your pistol? Now, you win the round. You, I understand the round was over, so you decided, let's go for a, let's go for a knife. But why do that? Because now, although they lost it, they just killed all five of you. So... At that point, they're not feeling like shit. And if you're just not giving fights, that's what annoys defenders the most. If you just sit back and wait, 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 and they have to go and peek you and then they get domed, that's what tilts defenders. If you're if you're coming in and you and they get all five of you, they're like, eh, uh, damn. Oh, well, we lost the round, but we got all of them. So good luck next time. They're going to be a bit more neutral about this. However, they're, they could have been more tilted that how the how did a plant just go down what just happened or they can be okay we lost it but we're still up around i think they're up around i'm not sure uh but they're up around we're still up around it, it, we fucked up it's okay we got all of them we can do better next time Never go for a knife. Go with the intention that go with the intention to win, not to style on people. Because it will build bad habits. Now they can either go, I think, middle floor or basement, and they're electing middle floor. You know, I think you won this one last round, so last time, so I don't know. Uh, with that, there might make sense because they can go garage. Everyone really makes sense. Uh, I'm guessing that the, and there's a Valkyrie in place, so yeah, IQ makes sense. Buck, vertical pressure. I'm hoping he uses vertical pressure, but we'll just have to wait and see. I don't think they have to be on central. I think it depends on where the locations of all the players are. And a lot of times they instead try and split the difference rather than going um rather than just you have to play on these servers. Hold on a second. Uh
Wait, no, you were actually right. Pulling up the page. They will be hosted on the following servers, NA, Central US. So yes, you are correct. And then possible to change, but both teams need to agree on their choice. So you're actually correct on that. However, one thing is there's not going to be much of a difference between like 20 and 40. Actually, there is a bit of a difference. So I need to see what your pings are to figure out exactly how it is. But basically, your lower is better. You mean after? Okay. Um, let's see if I can get a scoreboard. I don't think they show a scoreboard. Alright, screw it. Uh, 44850. Yeah, these aren't actually they're somewhat with the. Uh, I don't know what your pings are when you actually play. These two suck. Now that's good. God, this. I don't know. But basically, a little bit about ping. Uh, basically, you have to adapt to it. Where there is a significant difference, in my opinion, between playing at twenty ping versus forty ping, and it comes down to if you play at around the twenty-ish to thirty-ish mark then be holding angles but if you play above that you want to be the one peaking just with how the servers uh just with how the servers work with it so really that's all it is uh yeah really if you are at low ping then sure go blackbeard and stuff if you got a high ping never touch blackbeard and that's really just the way it is if you low ping hold angles high ping entry frag Also, probably figure that out within the first two or three rounds, not around six. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. Any information you get is now useless. Repel up, open window, throw drum. Do that and you'll be able to uh, at least react to the information. There was a chance that you could have gotten the kill on the Jaeger there, but it was kind of kind of thrown away because you weren't in good positioning for it. It's good just to shoot open both of these windows. Buck has no reason to be over here. Actually, wait, no. Uh, that was an upstairs defense. It's first floor. Good drone. Good drone. Please, please, no. All right, I thought somebody was actually inside of this room. And I was about to say bad droning on that part. One thing is you may want to just put someone on this window because this window over here can look all the way down here and it's a very powerful angle so by doing that you can i mean it really is it's stronger than this zofia angle zofia should be moving her position over here around this bathroom angle this bathroom angle is great if you're attacking upstairs because you can zofia open that and that and then you can just hold an angle onto connector but if you're not doing that then you should uh what is it if you're not doing that then you should i mean if you're not using the utility here, utility here, which you shouldn't, then attack in a way that you don't need to utilize, utilize it.
This is also the problem with bathroom. You can get flanked from yellow stairs without too much trouble. <coughs> Good plays from them, though. Grand Surf, you need to get in. Somebody killed this Valkyrie. She's giving information. You kill her. You don't give two shits about who has the most amount of kills. You care whether or not you win. If you win 7-0 and you have zero kills, great job. You have pro you didn't have to do anything. You probably were the drone or support player, plants or whatever it is, but you won. And that means you did your job. Just killed the Valk. She's giving information. Still giving information. Still giving it. Still giving it. All right, Jackal, you got flanked last time, so let's see whether or not you actually. All right, one thing is people people don't hold. Okay, this is a waste of the skeleton key. When have you ever held inside of the main lobby? I mean, you, you don't do it. There's nowhere to sit safely. So you, you can't just do that. You have, so there's no point in really be, like you're applying pressure onto an area where people don't play. It's like taking your thermite charge, putting it on a soft wall on the, it's like you're attacking cash on Clubhouse. So you go and you open up the, you open up the strip wall. Like, and not even the one connecting to bar, no, the strip wall, which is outside. You just pick one of them. That's roughly the equivalent of what this buck is doing right here. Now, how are these? Remember, angles work both ways. So every angle you create can now be used against you. So if you're going for the plant, they get top. They got they got top control again for, due to a late flanker. Well, I mean, you planted about this position last round, so. Do not take out a goo mine in the middle of the fucking stairs. Okay. If I one thing I like doing as a legion is I'll sit around a 90 degree corner waiting for someone to hit a goo mine. And if I hear someone pulling it out, I'm a swing. Because I, I can hear that. It, it makes a noise. So I can rely on that. Face checking. Face checking. Now you're lucky that you found him, but really that's just bad from the IQ. You're face checking everything, entering by yourself, and you're not really doing much of value. I mean, you could have just walked down spiraling, and you're good. All right, found the IQ. All right, he's probably, I mean, found the... At the IQ, found the lesion. Okay, he's probably gonna run away. Try and go for a flank on us. Okay. All right, hit a goo mine. He knows my positioning. He's probably gonna come. All right, I'm gonna hold the angle. I'm gonna hold the angle, and I'm bored. Holding angle, holding angle, board. I mean, you held the angle for like a second, and that at that point you just gotta. I mean, hold the angle. Either hold the angle or contest the stairs, but do something. I mean, that's. I mean, you looked at it for two for a second and then looked away. So, why exactly that happened? I don't know. It's, it's a mistake in my opinion. If you want to, like, that that's just a mistake in my opinion. You need to be holding that angle because, I mean, think about this. Your game sense was there. You were expecting someone to come for that flank. And he does. He goes. Ex he goes exactly where you're expecting it, and then you say, "Man, I'm out." Right. 
So you have smokes, probably grenades, and the bomb. How are you going to do this? All right, so there we go. The lesion's dead. Oh, God. Okay. I'm hoping I'm making this as obvious as possible that you done goofed. They know you're planting. They know you're planting. They're zapping away at you, and they have all the information in the world. Also, for Buck, I mean, well, I, I did. Hold on, let's go back on this. So, all right. So four versus two. All you gotta do is play passive to win. I Delta holds this angle. Buck plays the hatch and holds this angle. Uh, Jackal holds this angle. You know, I can just draw this to make a bit more sense. IQ holds that angle. They can't come. Buck holds down. Crossfire set up on the main door because that's probably where we're gonna come from, but just make sure they're not gonna come from here. Bomb goes down. Fantastic. All the angles are covered. We can react to most of most what most of everything that's thrown at us. All right, that's all you gotta do. That's, you just have to sit and wait. And this is kind of the over-aggression of I-Delta. Over-aggression, no reason to peek that. Hold an angle, you win. Now you got the smokes, that's good. All right, good. Now I hope you, you had to use your smokes, because if not, smoke out of that angle. One, don't show, okay. where are you guys? Yes, yeah, switch sides now. So, if you're on Valkyrie, I mean, if you're on, don't show Cav, unless you're gonna, you either, look, if you show Cav, you're not gonna run Cav. We know you're not gonna run Cav. The sixth pick is the idea that we might run her. Or we, we might run someone. You show Monty your sixth pick. Maybe they run Monty. Maybe they sixth picked onto someone else. Maybe they sixth picked onto Monty. You don't know. And that's the power of the sixth pick. However, I'm pretty sure you're not going to show a Cav. I don't think I've ever seen someone show a Cav and then run her. So, instead, show the Valkyrie. Or show a, show a Bandit. Show a bandit, and then sixth pick, and that may throw off the enemy a little bit. Now one thing I kind of like is they're using their sixth pick for the double hard breacher, where... They say, okay, Thermite, you're not going to be useful here. You switch off. And I think that if Hibana, if they realize they're attacking Basement, based on your lineup, if you're running a Bandit or a Cade or a Mute, then they would probably switch to, uh, they'd probably switch the Hibana to someone. You have to go to you have to go to either. You can go wherever you want.
Okay, so Jaeger's inside of admin, so he can say they're on the admin windows, at which point, Valkyrie, be a dang goof. Not paying attention, so that's all that happened there. Also, this Blackbeard is running a laser sight. Don't run a laser sight on Blackbeard. He's, like the, he's one of the worst operators you can run a laser sight on. If you are paying attention enough, you can see a laser sight on a wall. Which, so, Blackbeard, who's holding an angle most of the time, well, you can figure out what angle he's holding based off of that laser sight. So, Did Jaeger get out? When did Jaeger get out? Oh, is he there? And yeah, you just got out. Uh, that's uh, that's your call. If you don't think you can hold it effectively by yourself, then sure, get out. If I mean, no point in just wasting your life. Good. I'm gonna get all of them, but probably won't be able to got enough though. Uh just that was kind of bad positioning from I Delta right here. I mean you're in the middle, the angle exists, so Okay, I disagree with, it's, all right, so it was good that the, like, I think that this vertical play is really good because you're probably not going to win a three versus five, so you have to play more smart. However, I think that you need to throw this impact nade in a different spot, more right here, because if you throw it right here, I should wait, where's the, I think this is the balcony, so yeah, I think that this right here is the default plant spot. So here's the thing. They can, your maestro can call out if someone's planting there. Nobody's going to plant there. So your maestro has the angle on that. You then have another one directly above you. And if they try and plant behind A, then you can just, okay, check here. No, they're probably here. Because really you have this plant spot and this plant spot are the two default ones. So from there, you can just shoot through the floor. Nice. All right, that was that was actually really good, just because you weren't getting pressured from any real direction. So really, this was just everybody held the angles that they needed to, and everybody played, like I mean, really, people just played the way that they needed to, and you won because of it. So it's just a good job that I mean, really, I can't say much about it because it's. I mean, really, the Valkyrie and the Jaeger got killed out of position, but then everybody else was able to react in a way that I'd say was good. This came down to winning gunfights.
All right, so basement defense coming out. Let me see whether or not they showed this. All right, they showed this Thatcher. By showing this Thatcher, you should know that this mute isn't going to be able to do shit when it comes to actually defending the wall. So you should be switching any of any of the mute jams that go down for the wall. They are now used for the drones. If you want to play this position, you have to be very careful about the kitchen door because they can see you if they just walk down the Lisa stairs. I can't say much, mainly because I can't see much going on right now. They just walked into your line of fire there. Oh, they fucked up. I don't like that reinforcement. All that... In my opinion, all that does is stop you from going back to site. If you really want to be applying vertical pressure there, you can do that with a buck, a sledge, a Zofia, a breaching charges, anything. So you can clear out that entire room just with that. So you don't need to use that hatch as an attacker to get into the room. And you're so close that, I mean, if you open up yellow stairs, the wall, going into console, uh, open that up, drop down the yellow stairs, run in, you're a second away. So, I think that reinforcement can go somewhere else. 
Now, there aren't really many places that you need to reinforce here. weird way to contest but okay neither of them know what they want to do well 30 seconds in and your uh, valkyrie isn't dead so good on that improvements already okay okay that is not a fight you should take that is really fucking lucky that you did not die there I mean, you have no you have no reason to take this fight. If he repels in, you can chunk a nitro cell, you can just gun him down, you can swing the window, you can do a lot. You have no reason to take a fight on some by somebody on the window. Next, this is why I say don't hit open a window, just shoot the fucking thing open. Because you're really lucky that this didn't just go through and hit your head. This is also why I say you want to do an you want to do an admin and console push at the same time. If you, I mean, they just ran into trouble on admin and now they can't get into site. So, if they were doing an admin and console push, then it would have been possible for them to, if they say, okay, admin has a bunch of people in it, put someone outside on the windows, maybe two, console push coming in. Okay, we're in, we're upstairs now. We can fight. I'm on the run. Where are those shots coming from? Okay, so you shot him once. You don't have a reason to shoot him again. They know the angle exists now. They can hold an angle on it. Just, you did your job. Get out of there. Good. Good utility usage. I don't think I have to say anything. So it's a little bit of aggression from iDelta that I think he's a bit too aggressive. I mean, he's showing that he has the fragging power, but this aggression, it can cost rounds just as, I mean... If you lose him early, it can it can mess up the team. So I'd say he has to be playing a little bit more patiently and just a little bit more cautiously. Because, I mean, it, it's a claymore. <laughs> they tried to take up... In order to win, they had to take upstairs control. They couldn't take upstairs control. They lost. The story of the map. Now, upstairs defense coming out. And I will actually be back in a minute.
Right, I'm back. So with this upstairs defense, all right, I hate this change from the Valkyrie to a, to a Vigil. I mean, keep the Valkyrie, maybe switch the castle. I'm not sure exactly how much he did. You'd have to figure that out. But, I mean, really, I think that Valkyrie is incredibly useful here, especially if you can get cameras outside. Now, they do have an IQ. However, that's still time wasted. You can still get, they still have to worry about cameras. That's, so it's something that you can, uh, something that you can just deal with. Well, not deal with, but it, I'd prefer the, I, I'd prefer to keep the Valkyrie rather than the Vigil. Also, by throwing them another setup, they can mess with them. So Legion's holding yellow stairs, but normally that's a job for the Jaeger because Jaeger, you, you have to be able to put down multiple ADSs there if you want to effectively hold it. So if at that point you may just want to put I-Delta on something else and have somebody who's more comfortable just sitting on yellow stairs play it. However, that's just something that as a team you have to talk about. You need this wall reinforced because with this wall, uh, I mean, if this wall gets opened, you lose a good amount of being able to rotate around the console front desk. And with the castle barricade up here, literally all they would have to do at that, at that point is you put one person right here holding the angle on bathroom window. You have one person holding the connector window. Make sure yellow stairs is clear. Swing it in plant. No, no, no. Okay, a few things. One, if you're going to reset someone, shoot them through a wall. Two, you almost never have to reset anyone because you, it's either 1 HP or 20 HP. Either way, it's still one bullet. The only real time that I would say you want to reset is if you are going up against a lesion and you're at 1 HP. That's about it. Uh, yeah. And then, I mean, you took one of the hard, I think you took the hardest hitting weapon on the game and just, just killed your buddy with it. So I'm just, I'm just saying, like, you gotta, you gotta shoot through the walls. Like, suppressed pistol, shooting through a wall, you're gonna down him. Now this is the issue with showing the same setup twice in a row. They kind of they begin to read into it. All right, that's the IQ.
the outlook a little bit longer there. And at that point, you just shoot up the door. I mean, you shoot up the floor. Even if you get drone there, still just actually. No, that's a hard one. I mean, so it's a 1v3. You're not going to win it now. If it was a 2v2 or you had somebody upstairs, then possibly. But if I if I get a call, you're on yellow stairs, I'm just not going to jump out. And then ignore the kill hole made. But probably not going to win it. But still, you should have been paying attention to this wall. This is the setup that you have. At I mean, if you killed, if you killed ice there, then you can get a... If you can establish two one-on-one -on -one gunfights, you can win it. But really, I think that was just more the enemy read into your setup. Uh, with castle, I prefer, yeah, you know, like show a castle strat once and then get them out of there because they're gonna read into it. And once they, I mean, they began to read into it. That's all that was. Then. But now, on to the next round. Uh, here's what this castle is going to do. The mirror as well, because there's not too much utility to actually stop the plant. Uh, I'm really hoping you don't do the same strategy you did upstairs that you did that you did the first time defending here, because that that's something, in my opinion, that only is going to work once. As well as, if I, uh, if I know that's what you do, then I'm just going to establish angles. I'm going to plant in a non-default spot. And from there, I'll just make sure everyone's holding the right angles. Because you don't box five people in the site. I would change that first barbed wire that delta threw down. You can destroy that from outside the door. So if it's going to get destroyed with little effort and they're not going to expose themselves trying to do it, then it should be changed. the camera thank you
All right, so this was a good call, not this plant. This was a good call coming out from the other team. They said, okay, you want a hard hold garage like that? We'll just go from the other side where the entire mirror setup doesn't really function. And that's kind of the issue with showing the same setup. Like, yes, it works, and it looked relatively, it looked pretty strong on the first defensive round. However, it's something that you have to have more than one show. You have to have more than one strategy for every site. Because if you, I mean, if you only have one and they can read into it and you don't have another one, then you're giving up two rounds, basically. And it's really, a, you just have to be able to adapt. And the enemy team did that, and a lot of adapting is more just staying one step ahead of your opponents. Where, okay, last time we had a castle mirror set up. Now we're going to drop the castle and mirror, and we're going to do a heavy roamer strat, or we may do a hard anchor, or we may do something like that. But you need to be able to adapt. This was kind of bad adaptation from you, where you show the exact same thing twice in a row. And that's really, that's just not the, that's just not good. Then this plant going down, uh, when I'm not even sure of shooting through here, I don't even know that angle. I'm amazed you can actually see something, but. Now you should know that this plant's going down, so you should just both Delta and Castle, you two should just be shooting straight into here. I mean, if the plant's going down the doorway, that means they're probably going to be planting the doorway. And it, I mean, this is why I say don't, don't uh don't smoke where you want to actually plant because shoot in shoot in dead that's just kind of a kind of just a mess up by you two uh you get the kill but the bomb goes down and i mean if you have to plant for seven seconds then you should know if the bomb's going down and you shouldn't kill him right after those seven seconds pass Okay, so with this, first kind of mistake I see is this maestro. So you're holding the flank, yes. However, it would be more beneficial for your team if you went out and started shooting down there. Because the plant's coming in through here. Because, I mean, they're smoking. If you smoke, the plant's going down. Execution's going down. That's what a smoke means. So read into that. And you should just be ready to contest anybody in the hallway, holding the angles here, around here. So you should be doing that. Then with that, Castle and Delta should both know that there is a plant going down. You should be ready for that. Then there is a Mira. Let's see. Mira and who do I not see? Mute. Who are Mira and Mute? Yeah, I don't see them, so I'm assuming they're upstairs. A call should be made from your team. They're pushing the back. At which point, both Mira and Mute should be pushing to go down these stairs or to drop somewhere in archives looking for a fight. Okay, Mute coming down here wasn't really necessary. You and so and same with the Mira. Because it I mean you're kind of peaking the same angles rather than condensing on someone. And what I mean by that is if you have somebody holding here, it's not actually here on the map, it's just here on my screen. If you have someone holding here, instead of trying to come kind of like from two angles like this, well, why not attack from all four? Someone kind of like that. Attack from so many angles, they just get overwhelmed. Uh, here, if this guy could, if this guy could fall far enough back into blue... He could theoretically hold an angle on the diffuser that you would all have to just rush in like that to kill him. Or you'd have to go through here. How let's just say that there's another the, the other person's holding an angle like this. So you can't do that. So it's kind of the issue with uh, kind of coming from down the stairs and from down the hatch. Where instead of being able to turn it into something like one coming from there, one's already coming down here. Or maybe even one's coming down admin, one's coming here, one's coming here. Because you have five people. I mean, actually you have four technically now. But you can do more stuff like that. 
And even if it takes a little bit longer, it can pay off going for a flank. If you just tell your team, guys, hold up. We have 45 seconds. We don't have to rush. It's so a 4v1. Everybody get ready to flank this guy. And we go from there. Good try on trying to uh, get the defuse down. Kind of bad from the Thermite for letting the Mute just walk up there. But also, if you can't get the long arm, try to help the Mute. The, I mean, really, if the, if the Thermite was further back and holding an angle where he was at the very top of these stairs, holding an angle down on the Diffuser, he could theoretically win this because nobody is up top with him. Anyway, good defensive half. It's probably one of the better defensive halves I've seen when it comes to actually uh, playing it, just because your team seems pretty well balanced, where you have, I mean, from what I see, everybody can frag. You're not really, you don't have one person who can't really do much. So I would say that overall, it's your team actually looks good when it comes to just everybody pulling their weight, uh, at least on the defense. On the offense, however, that's where you guys fuck up. And you fuck up in a lot of ways. And it's a lot of little ways, but it's a lot of ways that you can get fixed. So I'd say right now you should be focusing one on your attack, figure out how to actually attack. I mean, you it, you really did struggle on the attack. That's all I can say. So figure out what you like to do, what you need to do as a team to improve on that. And then on the defense, show be able to show more than one one look. Because showing the same look twice in a row, that just leads it leaves it to be countered. It, they're called pocket strats for a reason, where you pull out like this bathroom defense or so that nobody's expecting. But then the reason why it's not used over the default strategy is it's weaker when they know they're going up against it, stronger when they don't know. So if the enemy knows that they're about to go up against this strategy, then it's where they've seen it before, then it's not as strong and you need to adapt to that. And let's see, what is... Curious, what is your next... Oh, border, do I want to do this one now? Uh, nah, I'll probably do this one another time. Anyway, hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to do more of these. Uh, I just finished up my summer class, so I should have a good amount of free time once I move back home. But for now, it's... I'm at... For now, if you want any help, just let me know. I'm happy to do this, and I hope you learned something.